We present CAD Deform, a method to improve the quality of 3D scene reconstruction with a set of 3D CAD models. Content creation such as mobile, virtual or augmented reality gaming scenarios benefit greatly from turning 3D scans of large scenes into lightweight CAD representations. Recently, 3D shape retrieval and alignment systems have been demonstrated to be a promising avenue towards this goal. However, existing methods only search for optimal alignments by optimizing over a comparatively low-dimensional space of parameters, for instance over 9 degrees of freedom, such as translation, rotation, and scale. As many real-world models simply do not exist in standard 3D shape collections such as ShapeNet, this significantly limits the fidelity of the fits, leaving large scanned areas not covered. In this work, our goal is to allow for a more flexible class of transformations and arrive at a higher fidelity scene reconstruction. To this end, we start with a voxelized scene scan and a set of meshes. Retrieve and align CAD models to scan fragments, but unlike existing methods, also non-rigidly deform retrieve 3D models to obtain more accurate CAD to scan fits. Importantly, we aim to preserve the visual quality of the deformed meshes as important to us as the accuracy of the fits. Our key contribution is a new deformation formulation aiming to change the shape of the aligned meshes by optimizing a deformation energy. The energy takes as input the aligned mesh vertices and the matching point cloud extracted from a scene. It includes a linear and a non-linear part the linear constraint terms are designed to penalize deviation from the original shape, maintain continuity and deformation smoothness, and preserve perceptually important linear geometric features of the mesh. Our nonlinear data fit term is designed to match the scanned data as closely as possible. We have designed two types of the data term, either based on the exact correspondences between the mesh and the point cloud or correspondence free. We refer you to the paper for more detail. To efficiently optimize the energy, we extended a common LBFGS framework with initial mesh preconditioning. Our constraint terms are linear, so they can be represented as quadratic forms on mesh vertices. An optimization of this quadratic energy can be reduced to linear system. As a preconditioner, we use the inverted constraint matrix and initialize the mesh in its aligned position. On each iteration, we form the gradient for optimization. We estimate the gradient of data term using the AutoDiff tool in PyTorch. To obtain the full gradient, we add the part derived from quadratic energy terms. Finally, we perform BFGS step using the preconditioner and the gradient. Note that preconditioners for all shapes can be precomputed only once before optimization. We built upon two datasets. ScanNet, a richly annotated RGBD collection of indoor scene reconstructions, and PartNet, that contains part annotated synthetic CAD models that we use for alignment to the scenes. Here we present the deformations obtained using our method and the baselines, with color indicating distance to the closest scan points. Evidently, all methods increase the fit to the scan. This increase in fit and performance across methods is confirmed by the accuracy numbers. Deforming the meshes using our baseline methods, as rigid as possible, and harmonic deformations, leads to a drastic decrease in visual performance. In contrast, our method additionally allows to preserve high quality of the mesh. In this image, the meshes are colored according to a metric assessing local mesh surface degradation, measuring deviations in the dihedral angles of mesh polygons.
This is again consistent with the numerical evaluation using multiple perceptual criteria. Our resulting deformation significantly outperforms the baselines. Our ablation experiments confirm that all constraint terms are necessary to keep the high perceptual quality of the deformed mesh. Including smoothness term is crucial to prevent surface surf intersections, while keeping sharpness allows to ensure consistency in parallel planes and edges. Finally, we demonstrate shape translation experiments, interpolating between the original mesh on the left and the target mesh on the right. This experiment discovers the potential of our framework showing its performance on ideal shapes. To sum up, we have developed the mesh deformation framework that is able to achieve tight cat-to-scan fits while preserving important shape features and keeping the shape visually plausible. Our energy formulation allows to tune each term to fulfill user requirements and flexibly adjust the space of deformations. Finally, we developed the methodology to assess both uh, fitting accuracy and perceptual quality of the deformed meshes, based on local and global surface properties. Our code and data are online on GitHub. Thanks for watching.